Why am I running around like this? Well, I'm looking for a secret moth. Somewhere around here. When I find it, I'll show you where it's coming from, but haven't had any luck yet. Ooh, another page, that's good. To all visiting villages in Britain. I didn't even have the Hawksmead one. Oh, interesting. Lumos. Well, moving on. I've been walking for so long I don't even remember where I started. Yeah, it's gonna be annoying. It's usually not that far away from, you know, the plate where it's supposed to go on. But I just haven't seen it yet. Although I do think that they're harder to spot during the day. But if you just randomly walk around and it's close enough, then we'll actually just connect to your wand, so there's hope. And in the meantime, we can just enjoy this beautiful scenery. Let me return to the village, because it's probably somewhere in the village, actually. I'm looking for a part with a fence. It has a nice view, but these are all stone fences, so it's not helpful. Let's just back it up. Hello. No. She seems stressed. Well, so am I. Sometimes Where's the damn moth? Roads lead to Hogsmeade. Moth. Ha! Rebellion. No, there's a lot of glowing stuff going on here. See, this is where we started. Uh, oh, fuck's sake. Can't jump! Uh. Fine, we'll go around. After I pick up this, thank you very much. Sorry! To do things the hard way. Through the gate, there Rebellion. we go. Lumos. Now, this is close to the starting point. And there are stone fences here. So maybe it's here somewhere? Somewhere out there. I find them pretty difficult to spot. Maybe I just need glasses. It could be the case. Let's check up here. This is beautiful scenery, by the way. Would you look at that? Want a tree like that in my yard? Well, oh, actually, I want a yard. Well, I have a yard, but it's just. it looks like garbage right now. It's getting darker. That might help me. Oh, dragon. Charizard. Mm. Mothy, 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 mothy. Chicken, have you seen it? No, chicken's just looking for a cow. Cow and chicken. No, don't know that show. Well, it's been a while since that was on. Actually, I didn't really like it that much. I liked I'm Weasel better, but speaking of animals, we found one! We found a moth! It was here! Rebellion. On a fence, next to a building, with a nice view. Lumos. There it is. Ah, oh, so close. Ah, oh, I'm so glad we found this one. It was getting on my nerve. Yeah, give me the page. I've earned it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now to get something done off our list. Let's see. Check the list. Mm, garlic's assignment. Okay. I think we can finish this one. All three combat plans and use them simultaneously. 
Okay, so we need to pick a fight with somebody. Use all our little plant helpers to complete this one. Well, we can do that. We have them all. Excellent. Now let's go and pick a fight. Keep it selected, please. Alright. Let's find some spiders or wolves or something. They usually lurk around here. Just outside of town. And we can also fly, so it will be easier to find some enemies. Assuming I can get into the free zone. Yeah. Here we go. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba Ooh. Let's see. Enemies. Enemies. Well, enemies. Enemy would also work. As long as he lives long enough so I can do free attacks at one. Oh, look. Looky, looky. Red dots. That's a big boy in the water, but that's tough to fight. I'm looking for somebody on land. There we go. Spider time! Whoa, 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 whoa. I need to actually see my enemy. There. Okay, plants, do a thing! Go! That's one. And three. Done. I don't use these plants enough, actually. Shit. They are pretty useful, but I just, you know, during combat I just forget. It's all about the wand. Ah, man. I know, right? Okay, let's get this one. In a way. Now we can get the class. And return to Professor Garlic. Professor! Got some good news! I'm ready to learn a new spell! <laughs> Suit of armors messing around. Should have teleported a little closer. Now oh, well. We'll get there. Like I said, man, nice day for a walk. I always say that. Oh, in real life it is not. It's been raining for like three weeks now. I had my holiday, which was only four days. Yeah, sad, I know. And it was just raining almost all the time, but I did manage to do some fun stuff, so I shouldn't complain. I mean four days is better than zero days. Yeah, we are Really understaffed, so yeah. Perhaps a hybrid. Right. Bouncing tentacular. Don't know what you're talking about, but I'm here. I've finished the activities you assigned me, Professor Garlic. Wonderful. I hope you gained a greater appreciation for the flora in our lives. I am forever enraptured by it. Just yesterday, I spent hours pruning my self-fertilizing shrubs and flutterby bushes. I didn't realize how long I'd been at it until the sun began to set. Well, if there's one thing I love to see more than my plants thriving, it's one of my students doing the same. Now, ready to learn flippendo? Chin up, keep a light grip, and it's all in the wrist. Let's see you give it a go. You will want to focus with this spell. Nothing as mortifying as knocking back a colleague when all you wanted to do was move a few pots. Time to learn a classic spell. Flippendo! Oh yeah! You can also play this game on the Flippendo Switch. Haha! <laughs> Wonderfully done! If you'd like to practice a bit more, you're welcome to do so here in the greenhouse. Just mind the plants, please. Alright, let's practice this spell. Our new one is... It's not part of the yellow group, is it? No, it's purple. Rebendo, look at that. You're a natural. Thanks, lady. Confringo. 
He might be my favorite professor. I like this lady. She's weird. What can I say? Thing for weird. Professor, I was wondering where you're from. What's your background? Oh, how nice of you to ask. Well, let's see. I grew up in London, right on the Thames. Forgive me. I was sure you must have been raised in the countryside. I used to dream of just that. But it wasn't until I came to Hogwarts that I felt truly at home. Mind you, it did take some time. And whilst it is my fervent hope that each student eventually feels as at home here as I do, it is not always the case. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we each bloom differently, don't we? Some of us, like Devil's Snare, thrive in the shadows, whilst others crave the attention of a bouncing bulb. And we each grow and thrive according to our own plan. Oh, I was terribly nervous when I arrived at the castle. You see, as a child, I knew nothing of witches or wizards. You can imagine how astonished I was to receive my letter from Hogwarts. I spent a good deal of time alone in either the greenhouse or the library my first days here. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. Oh, but I've given you the wrong impression. On the contrary, I was shown great kindness. In fact, a seventh year took me under her wing during those first days. She remains one of my dearest friends. Was it Sorona Ryan? It was indeed. How on earth did you know that? Sorona has been a good friend to me as well. In fact, I retrieved a box of letters from Mrs. Sprottle for her. Oh, darling Mrs. Sprottle. She was always astonished I knew as much magic as I did being muggle-born. I dare say you'll find that the friends you make here at Hogwarts will last a lifetime. Now, I'd best get to my recent delivery from the Magic Neep. Mr. Teasdale promised me quite an assortment of seats this week. Lovely to see you. Oh, that's nice. It's a reference to the letterbox we found earlier. That's cool. I like you, lady. I like you a lot.